Today we're going to look at Twitter. First I'm going to launch my Chrome browser. I'm not signed in to my Chrome account, which is not necessary. So I'm going to go to twitter.com. So I just have to do TW and it's already there, twitter.com. Just hit enter. And here's the main login page. And this is already set up for me to be able to log into it. So we're going to go ahead and log into that Twitter account. If you don't see this, then you'll probably have to come up here to log in. But I'm just going to click here. And we're going to look at my main feed. This is my main Twitter feed. And if I want to tweet something, I just go in here to click. And Twitter training video. And then we come here and tweet, and that's what I tweeted. That word actually will take down the time and date that I did this, which is another interesting thing about Twitter, is that if you need some instance, if you're in a situation where you need to record the time and date and you have Twitter open, you can do that. Let's look at what we have on the Twitter account. This is the home button. We'll click on this, and it's basically this is what the home page looks like. Now down here and this is the trends, which means a lot of people are tweeting about these issues here, about these hashtags. Pope Francis is being tweeted today because uh, uh, President Trump is visiting him today. Uh, SSE17, I don't know what that is, but it's uh, trending high in the top 10 here. In the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, 10. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So let's figure out what that is. So I'm gonna click on that and see what it's all about. Sweet Snacks Expo. Sweet Snacks Expo 17. Oh, okay, so this is a uh, big expo somewhere. I'm not sure where. That's interesting. I'm not sure where it is. We're at the expo. Where is it? We don't know. Let's see, it's at McCormick Place in Chicago and it's going on right now. Okay, so basically when I clicked on that, all it did was it entered this information into the search window and then used the search function to find it. So, and if we want to see other things here, we can click in the search window and it gives us uh, photos, news, videos, and people who are tweeting about it. But I want to go back to my main feed, so we click on home. We're going to go to the home page. And we're looking at my main feed here. There's some extra tweets here. A lot of CDC tweeting going on here. Center, Centers for Disease Control, one of the people I'm following, or one of the Twitter accounts that I'm following, regularly tweets out good, helpful information. And uh, let's look at who I'm following on Twitter. So these are who I'm following. These are my tweets. If I want to click on here, I can look at my tweets. And it brings me to my profile page, and then shows me what I've been tweeting. And this is what I retweeted earlier, from just from someone else. Okay. Let's look at who I'm following. So I click on following. I'm following 74 other Twitter accounts, including uh, uh, political action, people for the American way, public citizen, some news journalists. These are local news journalists for the city of Springfield. Uh, Snopes for fact checking. Uh, some businesses that I'm following, some manufacturers of equipment that I have I'm following too. And some friends are in here too. So these are all the people that I'm following on Twitter. Let's see who's following me. I've got 40 people following me. So we're looking at who's following me. I've decided that some of these I don't want to follow back. So I don't see their tweets, but they see mine. So I chose not to follow some of them. Sometimes I don't follow them because they're products that I'm not interested in, or I'm not following them because I find them very suspicious, and some of them are just robots, some of them are fake, and there's really nothing you can do unless you want to block someone. How do you block someone? Well, let's see. If there's something I don't want to see, 
so public relations group. I'm not sure who this guy is. He just followed me today. So let's see what his account looks like. Public relations and marketing for the digital age. Uh, I'm not really interested, but he does have some good information that could be useful for tweeting, tweeting what, and uh, maybe stuff that you're not supposed to be tweeting. So let's find someone else that I don't want to follow in me. So let's go back to, uh, oh, these are his followers. Let's, let's go back to my profile page. So I'll click over here and I'm going to go back to my profile. And then go to followers again. Um, I don't think I have. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Maybe I want to block him, maybe not. Let's say report, block, mute. You can mute or block them or report them if you don't find them suspicious by clicking in the little dotted area next to the follow button here. B2B, I don't know. I'm not really not interested in them. They're following me, I'm not following them. But you can mute, block, or report them. And I don't know what they mean by embed this profile. I've never uh, I've never done anything like that. I don't plan on doing anything like that. I really would rather not. Um, let's go back to the home page again. And uh, seven tweets just came in. All from the CDC. Uh, oh, there's some. Uh, Illinois Senate GOP. Okay, this is the followers. Now, how do you want to follow someone? I don't know. Let's say you want to follow... Um, you just type their name. Like, uh, let's say Abraham Lincoln. And then, look, these come up automatically. So, let's see, there's Abraham Lincoln. This is uh, Abraham Lincoln. President uh, Library or Presidential Library and Museum. So if I say click on that, and I'm not following it. Let's see what they've been tweeting. They've been tweeting a few things. Uh, they might have some special events coming up. So yeah, I want to follow them. So I'll just click follow, and they'll be add to my follow list. So okay, now this is kind of disorganized because if I go, let's go home again. And I gotta go to my profile page, so I click profile, go to view profile, and that's where I can find the following and followers. So I'm following 75 people. Let's say I want to organize them into categories so I can make lists. So I want to put this in a list. So let's click over here on more user actions. And I'm going to add to remove from a list. Let's say politics, WikiLeaks, and friends, fact check, corporate media reasons. Let's create a new list and we're going to call it history or historical uh, sites. Historical sites. Okay, we'll just call this uh, historical sites to visit. And we want it to be public, so we can save this list, call it that when I created the list. So now I have to include A L P L M in the historical sites list. And then we just close this box. And now I can go to my lists. And this is all the lists again. Access from my profile page, remember? Click on there to get to my profile page. And we're looking at, I don't know why it says three, but these are just new additional lists that were created today. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lists. And this is my private list that nobody else can access. Anyone else can come to my profile and look at all of these except for my private list. Now, another thing I can do is I can follow, put people in my lists that I don't want to follow. So if I go to my following again, and let's say I don't want to see tweets every single day from this, so I can unfollow, but he'll still be in my list. So if I go back to my lists, go down to 
uh, historical sites, click on there to leave it, and it'll, Abraham Lincoln will still be on that list, it'll still be available to me. But, now if you want to follow somebody but you don't want them to know you're following them, because every time you follow someone, you they will get a notice that some that that you are following them. So, what you want to do is let's say I want to go uh, I don't know Rutherford behaves. Mm, let's say I uh, want to follow the Hayes Presidential Library, but I don't want to follow them. I don't want them to know that I started following them. So I just come over here to more user actions, and remove from lists. I go to historical sites, and they're added to my historical sites list, but I'm not following them. So let's go home again. Then go to my profile page over here to lists. Looking at lists, and go to historical sites, and we can come down here and say list members, and it shows I'm following the Hayes Presidential Library and the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library. But I'm not actively following them. So their tweets won't show up in my main tweet feed. Because this is the feed that I have to look at too. And I have to see other people's tweets if I'm following them. So if I feel like, well, maybe I want to go to a historical site. I'll check my lists. Go down to uh, historical sites, and then list members, and we'll go to Hayes. Click on that. We'll go to the uh, Rutherford B. Hayes and see what's going on with their tweets, so I can see them tweeting. This is how I can watch other tweeters tweet without them knowing that I'm watching their tweets. I think it's called stalking. But. Let's say if I go to my list again, I, I didn't really need to go back. Let's, let's back. Okay, we're back here, and all I have to do is go to my profile here and go to my lists, and it'll take me to my lists, no matter what I'm looking at. Um, let's see, if I go to my lists, and this says that um, I'm a member of, I'm not, subscribe to anyone else's lists but I subscribed to these other lists so let's see if I want to go to um, Malcolm X let's go to the Malcolm X Foundation and uh, let's see if he's got lists, I don't know if he has lists. Um, I need to find a uh, an account with lists. Let's try this. Let's try uh, Spifflenet. Okay. Because I know this site has lists. There. See, I see his Spifflenet's list. So I click on lists. And let's say I'm a member of Spifflednet is a member of these other lists in other accounts. Like, um, since I subscribe to this tweeter, I, I added this person to my list. They put me in their list, or they put this person in their list. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's go back to my profile. Let's go lists. Let's look at moments. Moments are a way of organizing tweets into certain categories, like lists. But these, instead of being uh, sources, they're actual content, like my current project. This just has what I'm currently working on. I don't know why that's in here. That's not supposed to be in there. Alright, that's not supposed to be on there. So what I need to do is uh, remove from the current project. 
All right, so then if I refresh this page, I remove that tweet from this current list, from this current uh, moment, it's called. They call it a moment. All right, so, so if I click on moments here, I see other people's moments that are trending. These are highly trending moments. So Trump's visit to the Vatican. And we look at this, click on, uh, I don't know what this is. Jail sentence upheld for tax fraud. Let's see who that is. So these are all the people who liked this. And these are all just the tweets of it that are about the case. So if I go back to moments here, click on that, and I say create a new moment, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to call this uh, Twitter training exercise and uh, add a description what I'm what I'm currently doing. All right. Okay. What I teach. And then if I got a I got to find a a photo. So I'm going to set the cover photo. I guess I could just pick one. And. Um, Oh, YouTube problem. Let's see what that is. I'll open it up. Any old image here. Uh, I don't like it. Let's uh, cancel that. Change the cover. And let's see if I want to put. I'll just put this in here. That's good. Good random image. Okay, hit next. And it's going to look like that too on mobile. Alright. Uh, well, I guess we're good. Now I'm going to add tweets to the moment. Tweets I've liked. Let's do a tweet search for. Uh, let's see. YouTube training. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if that works. Didn't match any training. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's say, okay, here we go. I'll, I'll just click this. And uh, okay, and then I can choose whatever else I want to tweet, uh, post. But I only want to post that one, so I'll just publish this, and it'll publish. And uh, okay, I don't need to share this moment. Well, I can anyway. It just creates a tweet, and I'll just tweet that as a moment, and then. Uh, we're done. So click the done button. I'll go back to home. And there's the tweet. And if I go to moments, actually I go to my icon here. I can find my moments. And it'll show up here. And these are my three moments that I've collected. If I go back to my uh, home page to see the main feed again, uh, I want to do uh, let's say I want to pick this right here. I'll click in the More button, and then I could add this to the moments down here. Twitter training exercise, my project, add to other moments, add to a new moment, or create a new moment. So let's go to click this, and it'll add it to my moment. So if I want to go back and look at an archive of moments, Click on them. And actually, these are still other people's moments. So I want to go over here, click there to go to my moments. Now I see my moments. I can open up my moments to see what uh, what I've collected. There's this one and then this one. 
Okay, so I've covered the basic main feed. I've covered, oh, I haven't covered the profile. When you go to view, view profile, and you want to change your picture, you edit your profile here. You can change your pictures here, your profile picture, your background, your header photo, profile photo, um, and your theme color, which I don't think you can do on your phone. So we're going to cover that here. We're going to click on theme color, and it gives you this selection here, or this at the end, which gives you the code for HTML, which is a 4E4701. What do these mean? Well, it's a 16 base number, so it's 0 through 9 and then A through F. Now, to clear up this confusion here, I'm going to open a new tab here and we're going to look at HTML color codes. So, you go to htmlcolorcodes.com and it shows you this little slider chart here so you can pick your color. So if I want a lighter orange color, I kind of like the green color I had before, but I, would, I think brown is probably a more appropriate color for this, and I want it darker. And these are 4F3400. Now, 4F3400, so we come back over to the Twitter theme tab, and we go, uh, what was that? 4F3400, 4F3400, okay, and we just click outside there and that's our new theme code, and this is the old one, this is the new one, so we click save changes, and now my theme color has changed, now if I want to edit the profile again, I want to make sure I have the right resolution pictures. So we're going to look at what these images should be, how big they should be. So I'm going to right click over the picture area and go to inspect. And it's going to bring up a whole bunch of crazy code that's, don't let that scare you. We come over to computed and click on that. And here is how big your background photo should be. 1583 by 420. Now, if you were to import a smaller picture, like 640 by 200 or something like that, it would be all blurry because it would have to be enlarged to fit, and it probably wouldn't look right anyway. Okay, so close that. We look at the profile picture here by right-clicking here and going to inspect, and we go over to computed and look. It's 200 by 200. Now, if that's the smallest re resolution you can have, the smallest size. You can have anything bigger, but nothing smaller. Because anything, like, if it were 48 by 48, then it would be really blurry and ugly looking. Okay, so I'll close that. And all this other information I think is good. Messaging. This is, you usually get notifications if somebody did something like tweet a tweet that you tweeted, retweeted your tweet or followed you. If someone followed you, you'll get a notification that they that somebody followed you. Messages is for a, a private conversation. You can turn notification on if you get a private message. Um, I guess I can... These are direct messages to people that are not seen by the public. They're not supposed to be, at least I don't think they are. So, that's how direct messaging works. And you can create a new message here, or you can mark all your messages as read. If you want to create a new direct message to one of your followers or to someone else, you can type in here, and then you can type in um, a, B, See what happens is uh, you can't even if you have the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library in one of your lists and you're not following it, 
Doing a direct message to people that you are not following does not work unless you really know what their address is. So if I did, uh, let's see, if I did at A L P L M, it won't show up because I because I'm not following it. That way, uh, I don't know why they don't do that, but it makes it really hard. All right, so close that and. Uh, that, I think, is it, except your don't forget to use your search if you want to search for something. Uh, let's see, anything down here? The bottom? No, it just keeps going and going and going. Your feet will keep going and going and going. Um, that about covers it. Thanks for watching.